Market training. What is market training? Hi, I'm Charles and you're watching Our Protection Dogs, a channel devoted to the raising, development and training of a protection dog. All right, let's, let's just go into this. So canine market training. Canine market training, what is canine market training? Canine market training is a sound or a word that marks or indicates or cues a behavior, uh, positive or negative, that the dog gives you. All right, so what does this mean? All right, so this means that if the dog some, does something right, we're going to communicate with the dog by saying, good, the dog knows it's doing something right. But what we're going to go in further is we're going to look at words or sounds that can be used as markers. So a word is either yes or good, negatively uh-uh, or sound, a clicker, a flash, beep of an e-collar, anything like that uh, could be a marker or an indicator that the behavior that the dog is offering you is something that you want. Now, Obviously, the dog was not born with this in its motherboard by knowing what those words or a clicker means. You have to teach the dog this. And the way you want to teach this dog is by association. So we want the dog, the dog to associate those words or that sound with a, a reward. All right? So let's say, for instance, we're going to be using food. So we're going to do the clicker, food, clicker, food, yes food good food we're going to do this over till the dog understands that that word or that sound is associated with food association so the dog's learning by association the pavlovian way of learning by association all right so it associates that word over there with a positive outcome it can also have a word that associates with a negative outcome all right so we now looking at words, we're going to use yes and good differently, and we've got the clicker, all right? So the clicker is a little thing like this, it goes click, click. Uh, a very interesting book to read about the clicker and about also marker training as Don't Shoot the Dog by Karen Pryor, very interesting book. Okay, let's carry on with association, learning by association. Now, to learn by association, you're going to teach the dogs that these sounds or those words have got a positive outcome or a negative outcome. And we're going to do this repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. And we're going to do this within a second or a split second after the dog has offered us the behavior. Otherwise, the dog's not learning. So you have to be quick with this. And this is where market training helps so much. Because you cannot get the, the reward to the dog within a split second, maybe, but you can click or indicate or mark the behavior with the word yes, and obviously the, it can come fetch the reward from you. So we have a positive and we've got a negative marker. So under our positive, we've got the terminal marker, and the terminal marker is basically the bonus. The dog has done something correctly and you're giving it to break that behavior. Like for instance, the sit. Dog offers you the command, you give the command sit, the dog sits immediately, yes, and the dog comes running towards you, you break it and it gets a reward from you. Continuous marker is keep on doing what you're doing, you are doing the right thing, but it's not a terminal marker yet. So sit, good. I will then walk to the dog and reward the dog over there. Let's say, for instance, I'm doing attention healing with food. Good, and the dog gets food. God, dog gets food. Yes, I break away. I'll break it away, and I'll break that behavior by the ultimate reward. So, continuous marker will be able to go and reward the dog over there. Terminal marker, the dog breaks and comes to you. Terminal marker is usually associated with a toy. The, the, the big, big, big uh, reward was play, that's the big reward. And with a lower motivator, the continuous marker, which is the food. Remember guys, you have to teach this to the dog. So what we're going to do, this, this is basically just explaining to you how marker system work. We will then in other videos that follow up on this, going to show you how to actually use marker training, how to train the dog the terminal marker, and how to train the dog the continuous marker. Right, let's go to the negative side of things. That side, negative side. No. I don't know how to spell this, but we use the word uh-uh, uh-uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Well, that's the word that we use. This is not really a 
punishment. Um, this is just to say to the dog, what the behavior is that you're giving me is not what I'm looking for. Try again. Um, by using markers and by using a word like this, it becomes clear to the dog that it needs to offer the uh, other um, behavior. You don't want a lot of stress over here and you don't want to punish the dog and then all of a sudden the stress level goes up and the learning uh, of the, the, the ability to learn or take in what you're giving it to it, it becomes faded with stress and scared of doing something wrong. So you want the do dog to be clear-minded and clear and you want to be clear to the dog and that's why we're using marker. So uh-uh, try again. You're going to get rewarded for this. So the word no is not, we don't use the word no as a marker. We use that as a punisher. So I've put it there in red and you can see the little Satan over there. This is if the dog does something wrong, it's an indicator of no, the dog wants to wee on the field because I uh, remember the defecation on the field in the PSA field is disqualification. The dog wants to do this. No, and you like show the dog you're angry about this and gets off with it. We'll get into that. We'll go into that in another video. But we don't use no as a marker. This is a punisher. All right. Another two cues or two markers that we usually have. Uh, it's hot in here. Sorry. Start a cue where you start with your training session, indication that we're going to work now, you're ready, we're going to work, or a little routine that you've got, a three second or five second routine, it puts the mindset of the dog into that we're going to actually be doing some work right now, and we're going to do some learning. Once this has happened during the session where we're using marker training and all these kind of things to train the dog and teach the dog, we're going to end off with a free command, a cue that says we are free, not doing this anymore, it's done, it's over. The bells rang, school's done. So uh, end command like free or play or um, whatever command it is that you want to, to use. Now, things that you want to keep in mind, the negative and the positive side of using, for instance, the words. And let's start with the word. So the, the positive thing about the words is that you can use a terminal marker and a continuous marker. You've got two different words for it. But the negative side is if you say yes, 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 yes. All of those sounds are totally different to the dog. We babble along the whole time and make use the word a thousand times and the dog is sitting there listening to it. So it becomes not a word. So you have to have be continuous with the words that you are using. Like for instance, I'll say yes, yes, every time. So I'm not going to talk to you and say yes, yes. Okay, so it's a sound, but the dog associates that specific sound with my terminal marker. Good. Again, good. Good, good. I'll use that over and over again. This is where the positive thing is about the clicker. The clicker is always the same. So the clicker can't go up in tune, down in tune, it clicks, it's always the same. Which makes it actually nicer to use. But the only unfortunate thing about the clicker is when it comes to well, how do I click for terminal and how do I click for continuous. So an uh, interesting one I watched on Keen Dogs, um, they actually, um, they were, basically trying it out where they have a double click for terminal and a single click for continuous. Um, they were basically trying it out and see how it works. I haven't seen any videos on that that they said how it turned out for them, but I thought it was very interesting and, uh, to see how, how the dogs will learn with that. So they use two clicks and one click for their continuous. I'd like to see how that works. Um, very interested in it. Okay, so where are we? Where are we now? Okay. So those are the positives and the negatives about uh, the clicker and using the words. This is not easy. It takes a while to learn and make mistakes. But the big thing is you need to be the same every time with your markers. Uh, the dog needs to understand that. It needs to be clear to the dog. This is a form of communication with the dog where you tell the dog you're doing the right thing or you're doing the wrong thing. And that could be very beneficial for your training. Without this, there's no way in hell you're going to get precision in your dog training. There's no way. Um, if you think you can get away with training without this kind of stuff, you are not going to get those advanced training in your obedience, in your bite work, in your detection, in your tracking. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Your markers are there to help the dog to show them that they're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. Okay. 
If there's anything that I've left out that you think that you could add to this video, or if you've got any questions of what I've just discussed with you, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and like this video. And if you want to set up any Zoom sessions and Zoom training sessions, please feel free to do that. We offer that as well. And furthermore, I don't think, I can't remember anything else, but if I do, we'll bring it out in the next videos. Cheers.